Thanks for being here. Let's begin. Reaching, rooting down through the sit bones, connecting to breath. So conscious breath and establishing that ground connection, that lower body fullness. And aligning the skull bones over that. Connect, connect to yet another deep breath. So we're getting right into it, right from the start. Feeling those skull bones lifting away from the sit bones. This entire interior space of your body feels vertically a bit lengthier or spacious. My sense is when we feel the body as particle density, we may feel these shifts like length and width. Right? And when we feel the body as less dense and more like fluid, I think there's a, a corollary to feeling the body as spacious, this kind of liquid, malleable, changing volume. And they're both useful. So whichever appeals to you or resonates with you, use that use that, right? If you feel length, then you feel length, go with length. If you're able to feel a quality of spaciousness in the body, go with spaciousness. But we connect it with breath. So that any shift that we, we do incur in our body occurs with breath. Yeah. So try it out. You might just close your eyes, connect to breath, and just feel, can I grow taller? That's it. Mm -hmm. There you go. We do a precursor to our, our pranayama uh, today. So switch the cross of your legs and inhale the arms out to the sides. Turn the palms up. Lifting the chest. And now exhale, fully exhale. Use those low belly muscles. Draw them in, squeeze them in. Turn the thumbs down. And if you tip your chin down, you can feel that broadening and biasing the upper back. We'll do a few more. Inhale, bring the head over the sit bones. Turn the palms up. Lift the chest up. Getting your breath out to those shoulder sockets. Exhale, thumbs down. Belly, drawing that belly in, pulling it in, chin down. Inhale is the up move, palms up, chest up. Exhale is the down move.
Let's do three more on our own, please. And find out if these simple shoulder maneuvers are helping you gradually deepen your breath. Are you getting a slower, a deeper breath into play just by moving, lubricating these shoulder joints? And so if it works for you, Brett, you stretch those arms all the way out, straightening them, it'll create a different tug and torsion through the arm, the bicep, the clavicle, the shoulder. Yeah, they may get warm. That's great. <laughs> All right. We're a breathing bunch. This is good. Let's place the soles of feet together, Baddha Konasana. And we'll be working rounds of Uddiyana. So fingertips can be placed right beside your hips. Press soles of feet together. Let's start by exhaling everything out smoothly. Low belly muscles engage, getting exhaled, getting empty. And as we let the belly go, there begins our inhale. Belly soft, low ribs expand, mid ribs expand, upper ribs lift away from mid ribs. It's gentle, nice and slowly. And now pause holding your breath. Allow the hips to relax, pressing soles of feet together. Bring hands forward, they're slightly folded. Exhale everything out. Remain empty, lower the chin and squeeze, draw the belly back. Draw it in, draw it back, press soles of feet together so we don't lose that groundward connection. Lengthening through the spine. Release, when you need a breath, come up right. All right, I'm going to switch the cross of legs right over left shoelace. So as we're doing these uh, breath rounds, the hands on the ground, when you lengthen, just start to feel the length, start to feel the change of spaciousness through the body. All right, hands on the fingertips on the floor. Feet active. And again, let's start by exhaling everything out. Now, as we relax the abdomen, begins our inhale. Soft belly, inhaling. Low ribs expanding, inhaling. Mid ribs articulating, inhale, upper ribs lifting, upper back spreading, inhaling, inhaling, hold. Now as you press down through the fingertips, sag those sit bones toward the earth, lift through the skull. Is there a micro lengthening even here? Bring the hands beside or in front, exhale everything out. This can be done out the mouth. Keeping the feet active, draw the belly in. Now there's a tendency when we get so empty that just that vacuum that kind of tends to suck our body parts together. Use your hands and lengthen, pull gently. Feet active. Do you feel a little shift in there? 
can you soften so you can feel that shift starting to occur? Relaxing the belly when you need a breath. Coming up right. All right, let's switch the cross of our legs once more. Shoelace with left on top of right. That's left ankle over the right knee. Shin over shin. Ah, oh, it's good to see you all this morning. We'll start with the exhale. Use those low belly muscles, just wringing out those last little dripple drapples of breath. Squeeze, wring them out. Fingertips set now. Let the belly go. So the inhale begins with belly soft. Belly soft lets those ribs expand. Expanding that breath into the armpits, under the collarbones, into the brain. Pause, hold breath, feet active. Can you soften internally? And would that net you a little bit more internal space. Bring the hands forward, exhale everything out. And as you're drawing the belly in, use hands, lightly pull as if unbunching internally, uncoiling, unbunching, elongating. Releasing when you need to. Now, I wish I could be more specific, but um, maybe someone will do the search with me on this. But when we view or imagine in flat dimensions, like two dimensions, length and width, Versus when we tend to vision or move or problem solve in three dimensions. My understanding is that our brain actually works and lights up differently. So these different dimensions like might be sparking the brain in wholly different ways. Listen, wind. And let's lie on back as we prepare for elbow to knee. I wonder, I'm just wondering aloud, if our kinetic, our kinesthetic intelligence reliably develops from kind of two-dimensionality into three-dimensionality. Okay. With the hands interlaced behind head and the feet off the ground, knees over hips, inhale the head and the shoulder blades off the ground. Almost like you're shortening that line between your collarbones and your pubic bones tailbone. So you're lengthening that back line of the body. Exhale, reach your left leg out. And now shorten the distance between your left armpit and your right hip. Just imagine, feel shortening that distance, that diagonal. Pull low belly down. Inhale, bend the left knee, come back centrally. Curl tailbone, exhale, right leg reaches out. Feel right armpit to left hip, shortening. It's like you're compressing them together to spread open the backside of the body, pull low belly down. 
You feel all this top compression? Inhale, bend that right knee. Shortening from collarbones to pubic bones. So you keep lifting that head up. Curl tailbone, exhale, left leg reaches out. Left armpit to right hip. Shorten, a little compression. Pull low belly down. Inhale, bend left knee. As we curl the tailbone, feel the back side of your body just lengthening slightly. Exhale, right leg, stretch it out. Right armpit, cinch a little closer to your left armpit. Pull low belly down. Inhale, come back centrally. And would you continue? Let's do four more on each side. I have a hypothesis. We're gonna play with it today. <laughs> Whether you most easily imagine and feel things in two dimensions or three dimensions, it's fine. Whichever, it just appeals to you, do it. But I think there's an under, an under, uh, what should we call? I think there's a, something a little more awesome happening underneath this, which is that as we perceive the body as changeable, it shortens, it lengthens, it expands, it compresses, it opens, it closes, right? restricts, it unrestricts, it dilates, it bottlenecks. That feeling the body as changeable is helping model something profound and deep for us spiritually. So we're just gonna use a little, a little math to get us into the right head space, body space. There you go, exactly. So just that we perceive the body is changing many, many, many times over the course of the next hour plus, I think has valuable effect on us neurologically, in terms of our identity and attachments. So long-winded way of saying we're going to feel the bits of change. We will feel what does shift, what does change, and just letting that, letting our psyche, letting our soma absorb that observation and that experience like, oh, I am constantly in flux come to, come to experience. I am... <laughs> ever changing. All right, looks like most of us are done there. Let's grab the roll. Place between legs, got one, okay. And reach legs skyward. With the feet, the soles of feet, more or less pointing towards the sky. Inhale, spread your breath into the low back, low ribs. Hold that for a moment as you squeeze and compress your legs into that roll, curl tailbone. Exhale, float the head and the shoulder blades off the ground. Keep that inner leg Squeeze, compress that roll, spread the foot bones, pull low belly down, feel that ch change. How much can I get that low belly to move? And then let it go, inhale the head to the ground. 
Reaching your breath into the hips, the bottom of the sacrum. Hold that, squeeze the object, curling tailbone. Feel how that lengthens and broadens the, the back area. Exhale, float the head and the shoulder blades up. That front line of my body compresses, activates, pull low belly down. Inhale, set the head down, release some of that squeeze. I'll talk through one more. Squeeze this thing. Curl tailbone. Exhale, lift through the elbows, opening the shoulders so you can feel that broadness across the upper back. Maintain that squeeze and compressing, squeezing that low belly in and down like you're wringing out skin and muscles and organs. Inhale, set the head down, take a free exhale. If you need to set your knees, uh, feet down for a moment, you can do that. There's another variant here. So you can bring your feet up when you're ready. Inhale, float the head and the shoulder blades off the ground. So keep them lifted, squeeze the roll. Exhale, shorten left armpit to right hip. So you trace that distance, feel that distance, shorten that distance and lengthen the legs. Pull low belly down. Inhale, unfurling that line a bit as you come back centrally. Keep the shoulders up. Squeeze the thing, the roll. Exhale, right armpit, left hip. Cinching up that distance. Feel that line shorten. Feel the legs lengthen as you press. Pull low belly down. Inhale, come back centrally. Ease up some of that squeezy pressure. Hold the breath, squeeze the roll. Exhale, bring the left armpit, cinch it a little closer to the right hip. Squeeze the legs and now lengthen the legs. Lengthen, press them. Do you feel them move? Did you feel them lengthen? Pull low belly down. Inhale, come back centrally. Collarbone to pubic bone, a little shorter than usual. Squeeze the roll. Exhale, cinch the right armpit closer to your left hip bone. That's good. Squeeze the legs, lengthen the legs. Pull low belly down. Inhale, come back centrally. Do just one more to the right and one more to the left. On your own. Some things are shortening, some things are lengthening. Just giving our, our psyche, giving our soma the experience of a lot of little absorbable shifts and changes. It doesn't have to totally rock our world, but it's okay if it does. <laughs> but it just, accruing lots of little shift experiences can help loosen, can help soften our frameworks, our structures. <laughs> Turn on to your left side and let's press to elbows and knees. We go elbows under shoulders, forearms out in front. Curling toes under, inhale. Can you feel that broadening the upper back? Exhale, the knees smooth off the ground.
part of this hypothesis that I'm exploring is that experiencing a lot of little absorbable shifts, little changes in our habits, little changes in our behavior and our body and our structure. Not only does it help create a more resilient system, but I wonder if it helps develop a self-correcting, self-amending system, a self-transforming system, a system that's not just lithe and flexible, but whose resilience has an intelligence that can respond uniquely to each event, to present time occurrences. Take the left foot using the toes, wrap around the right heel cord. Okay. And all of these poses today, we're doing with the intent of feeling these little shifts. So as you begin to depress some weight into that right heel, you don't have to max out the stretch, but can you perhaps feel just that little shift that lights up the back of the calf, that lights up through the back of the knee or the leg, that little shift that lifts you out of the shoulder joints, that little shift that lengthens the, the rib cage away from the elbows. I will trade sides, setting the left foot down. We'll use right foot toes to anchor left heel cord. Feeling what is changing. So even though we hold these poses, they're really anything but static. <laughs> Set the right foot down, gently set the knees down. When you press up right, let's move to standing. Wide stance, and we'll be doing a chest opening plus fold. So pretty wide neutral stance, straight-legged stance. Interlace hands behind back. Um, you can use a strap to connect the hands. Inhale, expanding the ribs to the sides laterally. Can you feel that width change? Width, width, width. Exhaling, feet active, fold forward. Inhaling, bring hands back down to the sacrum. Release. Now, when you set the hands on the ground, turn 
designed them so that the fingertips are pointing behind you, like right through your legs behind you. And the palm heel is facing forward, like toe direction. And just the finger pads on the floor, I'm just working a little uh, wrist stretch motion right here. So my finger pads are like suction cups, or, and I'm gently pulling the palms away from the fingertips. Now as it feels right on your hands, on your wrists, you can begin to move the palms toward the earth. If you've had any injuries, you're opening up some new places in your hands, you can just take note of any little micro winces in your face and just pause, get really steady, connect to breath. Sometimes we can feel those subtle, almost protective restrictions. It, it can happen very suddenly. And we'll release that pressure from fingertips, palms. Heel, toe, feet together. And we'll stand at the top of mat. Make one move here. Now when we stand at the top of mat, palm to palm, active I just feel this line from the heels to the head just subtly increasing that line that distance or that space however you perceive that not that that's the correct way but just as we do it, we can digest these little doses of change. Inhale, draw the arms up, fan the hand bones, spread the feet widely on the ground. Exhale, fold forward. Neck soft. Lunge, inhale, left foot back, set knee down. Top of left foot down, draw the arms up. Place the hands down, exhale, right foot, step back. As we lower, pull shoulders away from the neck. Tops of feet on the ground, cobra, hands forward. Inhale, elicit that pulling action. Lengthen sternum away from navel. Collarbones away from the foot. Exhaling lower, downward dog. Lunge, inhale, left foot forward. Placing right knee down, top of right foot down. Arms reach up. Hands to ground, exhale, right foot forward, folding. Feet active as you soften the neck, working those low belly muscles into the exhale. Inhale, stand, draw the arms up overhead. Exhaling, hands to heart. Okay, we keep moving a little bit more with more acceleration. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right foot back, lunge. Hands to ground, exhale, left foot back, lower. Pull shoulders away from neck. 
cobra, hands forward slightly. Inhale, pull, lengthen. Exhaling, lower, downward dog. Lunge, inhale, right foot forward. Left knee down. Hands to ground, exhale, left foot forward. Fold. Inhale, stand, reach arms overhead. Exhaling, hands to heart. All right, a little more swiftly. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, left foot back, lunge. Hands to ground, exhale, right foot back, lower. Inhale, cobra. Stretch those toes and legs back. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left foot forward, lunge. Hands to ground, exhale, right foot forward, fold. Inhale, stand, reach arms overhead. Exhaling, hands to heart. And again, inhale, reach up, feet active, hands active. Exhale, fold. Inhale, right foot back, lunge. Hands to ground, exhale, step back, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, right foot forward, lunge. Hands to ground, exhale, left foot forward, fold. Inhale, stand, draw the arms up overhead. Exhaling, hands to heart. We'll pause right here, take a few additional breaths. Uh huh, okay. Good, chair pose. Inhale, bend knees, reach arms up, lift the chest, the ribs away from the lap. Exhale, fold forward. Feet active, allowing the head and the neck to relax. Monkey, inhale, using your hands, pull the chest forward or push with the hands on the shins. Lengthen the sternum away from the navel. Set hands down, exhale, step back, chaturanga. Now you have to decide if upward dog is right, right now. Inhale, upward dog, or please use cobra. Exhale, downward dog. Warrior one, inhale, right foot forward. Plant those feet and then press, drawing the arms up. Hands to ground, exhale, right foot step back, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale, left foot forward for warrior one. I set the feet, I push with the feet and then torso comes up, hands to ground, exhale, step back, lower, inhale, upward dog, exhale, down, downward dog, inhaling, step or lightly jump feet forward, monkey, exhale, fold, Low belly muscles, working them, squeezing them, rel relaxing the upper back toward the ground. Chair, inhale, bend knees. Reach the arms up to about ear level and then start to lift the ribs up, away from the lap. Stand, exhaling, hands to heart. 